remember Take a chance, do it all for love and no regrets Up ahead there's an open door and I gotta find what I'm looking for and I'm on my way Well time moves on and the days go by but the sun don't set on the stars tonight and I spread my way Till the victory's won and it's alright I light them up and I'll take them down And I feel the rush at the speed of sound To find all the strength inside Baby, just watch me fly Now I have all I need To find the best of me Oh, isn't it time To open my mind and just believe Just believe Well, isn't it time To open my mind and just believe Good morning. I'd like to finally welcome everybody to the graduating class of 2020. Um, you guys can sit down. <laughs> this is uh, a very surreal moment uh, that seems more like a reunion than it is a goodbye. Uh, this, the, the whole year of 2020, I think everybody would agree is worth a do-over. Um, but we finally weathered the storm, uh, or at least we're in the eye of it right now, and we can get together and celebrate this, this outstanding senior class. Uh, four years ago, we challenged this group, and I don't know if you remember this meeting or not, but uh, we met with every class, and uh, we really, put a lot of pressure on these guys and demanded a little bit more from them. Uh, we, we wanted them to uh, challenge the group in front of them, and we wanted them to set the tone uh, for those to follow. And 
uh, we, you know, we told them don't wait till your senior year, don't wait till May of your senior year to start defining your legacy. Uh, start doing that now as freshmen, and it's probably going to be hard uh, because you know some of you, you we, we don't want you to necessarily wait your turn. We want you to we want you to push and, and make that group ahead of you better, as well as um, what you're going to leave behind for those uh, that are coming up. Um, this is what they accomplished in their four years. They are the first class to place six championship numbers uh, on our athletic banners in the gymnasium in their senior season. The previous high of five was done 37 years ago, way back in 1983. Um, they conference champions in golf and football. They were sectional champions in girls basketball, a first time ever sectional champion in volleyball first football playoff appearance in 14 years and the unforgettable Final Four State run. They're also, their four-year total of championship numbers is 10 uh, for their entire career and that's the largest total since uh, way back in 1992. Now, I'm not a big fan of asterisks next to stats and stuff, but uh, all of this was done without a uh, opportunity to participate in spring. And uh, we felt that those numbers were definitely going to increase because uh, our spring sports were poised for greatness. In FFA, five state FFA recipients, 18 state FFA top 10 career development team events, or event teams, I'm sorry, six state FFA winning career development teams, six national FFA career development teams, and three more qualified uh, but could not go because of COVID. We've had a couple of programs on the rise during this four years. Uh, in, after a six, eight year hiatus, uh, we brought yearbook back and within three years they have been state recognized as a program of excellence. The band has gone from a total of eight members to 58 in a four year period and that number is going to continue to rise. Academically, they, as far back as I can research, uh, this is the highest uh, graduation percentage what I know in East Knox history. From a community standpoint, uh, th there were two levies passed in this four-year period. And a lot of people, you know, they, they think there's a lot of reasons why all of a sudden after, and I don't know the exact years, but after over 15 years of, of one renewal and over 30 years of no new money in the district, uh, all of a sudden, this miraculously happened that we could pass two levies in a four-year period. Well, the reason for that are these guys. Uh, the, I truly believe that this community believed in them as freshmen uh, with the promise and the potential that they had, and they voted for them again as seniors uh, as a reward for their attitude and their, and their accomplishments. So I, I think they had more to do with passing the levy uh, than anybody had given them credit for up to this point. Having said all that, I, I definitely think they do know the definition of a legacy. And I think they've set the bar high for the future. And I know we have some classes down the road that are uh, ready for that challenge. That'll be a story, obviously, for another day. One final first. This class is the first group that I have seen as a high school principal through all four years of their high school experience. So I couldn't have handpicked a better group and I'm honored to share that with this group. Uh, I think we can say uh, for all of us, thank you for allowing us to ride on your coattails and enjoy this incredible journey. 
Uh, I was fortunate enough to have a front row seat and an all access backstage pass to witness this and uh, it couldn't have been a greater and more scripted run. So thank you. Good afternoon. Sorry if you'll give me a minute. I don't know where he's been. I do want to congratulate, congratulate you, folks. Um, you pulled off the biggest senior skip day everybody, anybody's ever found. Well, again, the things that uh, you're first in, you're the only high school in Knox County that's you're having an outdoor graduation. There are a great many hopes I have for you as you leave here today. I hope you have a career and find a career that makes you want to get up in the morning and every morning you get up and say thank you God. I hope you never meet a murder hornet. I hope you never ask the question, what next? Because I it's Sahara dust is the newest. I hope you're treated well with dignity and respect. I hope you treat others well with dignity and respect, no matter who they are, where they come from, or what they do. I hope you, you find, find a soulmate who loves you 31, 31 years later, despite all your insecurity and the things that you do. Relationships are hard, guys. It's easy to walk away. But now this is really more for you, I suppose, is if you get into a relationship down the road, the two most important words you can learn and repeat often are, yes, dear. Trust me. I hope you cherish the need you have ahead with your parents and grandparents. The days are long, but I promise you the years pass quickly. I hope you write down a plan of where you want to be in a year from now, five years from now. Look at that plan. Spend a little time with it. And then every so often update it. When you reach your goals, set the net the next one. Never stop trying to achieve it. I don't you never doubt for a moment how much you were loved by everyone around you, especially your parents, grandparents, family members. I hope your years ahead are filled with peace and love and incredible joy. And most of all, as you can leave here today, I wish you good luck and God see um, At this time, we would like to present to you the academic top 10% of the class of 2020. We will do this in alphabetical order. Seniors, as I call your name, uh, stand and stay standing until all are announced. Megan Bartok. Abigail Buckingham. Dawson David. Caden Lester. Morgan McCauley. Leah Rager. Hallie Ryan. And Nathan Whitney. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to present Morgan McCauley to come up with the salutatory address. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to the staff members and the health department that worked diligently to make this graduation ceremony possible. I'd also like to thank those who have had the biggest impact on my life. I would like to thank my grandma and papa for loving and supporting me since the moment I was born. I would like to thank my siblings, Madison and Mason, for always keeping life interesting. And lastly, I would like to thank my mom and dad for constantly pushing me to be my best. I wouldn't be who I am today without you all. Growing up, I always loved watching movies that romanticized what high school would be like. I would watch those movies just waiting for the years that I would get to be the star on my own. Sadly, our movie had a plot twist cliffhanger of an ending that none of us could have predicted. Four years ago, we walked into East Knox as the annoying freshman class, but within those four years, we have grown and changed dramatically. 
We change not only physically, but also mentally. We've all had different experiences with so many personal lessons that will forever shape us. Despite our final year being cut short on a random day in March, I wouldn't trade anything for the friendships we've made or the lessons we've learned. I am so grateful for all of the memories we were able to make in such a short period of time. Feels like just yesterday I was eating Kit Kats for good luck with rain as we watched the playoff game that sent us to the state final four for the first time in East Knox history. I'll also always remember the many laughs I had with Cami during basketball practice when we were supposed to be focused on a drill that Paws made up. Or the night I was able to cut down the net with Megan and Abigail after accomplishing our goal of winning the sectional championship. Even though we didn't get to make all of the memories that we were supposed to make, we made some pretty great ones. One thing that my mom has taught me throughout my whole life is that perspective is everything. She always says, life isn't happening to you, it's happening for you. So with that being said, there's a lot to learn from the plot twist that was the end to our high school careers. Because of what we experienced, we will now be able to see the future through a completely different perspective. We will now enter the future with more purpose, more passion, and a lot more hope than ever before. Today is the end of our movie, but the beginning of the rest of our lives. Whether we are entering the workforce, taking up a trade, or continuing our education, we will all achieve great things and make many more memories with so many new people. So thank you, East Knox, class of 2020, for being the best class to grow up with. I'll never forget any of these past years. With the valedictory address, the big dog, Dawson Davis. We made it! Well, it would not be a fitting graduation for one that features me without some energy, so let me hear you, East Knox. Let's make some noise, everybody. I am honored today to be speaking in, such, in front of an amazing and supportive community and as valedictorian for this wonderful graduating class. This has always been a huge goal of mine, as many people close to me have known. Pushing myself every day to become a better student and finally see my end goal come to fruition has been everything I ever dreamed of. However, I would not be here today if I wasn't surrounded by many amazing people. I would like to thank my beautiful mother, Julie, my amazing father, Doug. You two have done a spectac spectacular job of raising me into the young man I am today. I want to thank both sets of grandparents, David and Stuart, for teaching me many valuable life lessons starting at such a young age. I want to thank my three brothers, Dylan, Dalton, and Kyle. You guys helped toughen me up <laughs> and show me what it really means to earn something. I want to thank all my best friends out here and in the audience today who have always been there for me and supported me through every aspect of my life. I would name you, but there are far too many. You know who you are. Also, I want to give thanks to every teacher and coach who has pushed me to better myself mentally and physically, helping me become who I am today. First things first, I'm just happy we are here, but the class of 2020 did not let some virus stop us. As cheesy as that might sound, it really defines our lion-hearted class. The class of 2020 East Knox has had a remarkable journey as we have persevered through a lot of, let's say, rough times. Going to school at a young age, we were wondering whether it will be a school next year, whether we would end up at the same school as our buddies. East Knox, a school that was once prosperous and thriving, was now hanging on its last limb. 120 students was now 100, and 100 dipped into the 70s. Not many people had faith in East Knox, but there was one bright spot in Howard that brought a glimmer of hope to the loyal and passionate community, the graduating class of 2020. A class filled with students who not only excelled on the field or court, but had high aspirations in the classroom and community as well. As Joseph Campbell once said, opportunities to find deeper powers within ourselves comes when life seems most challenging. That is exactly what happened. All the adversity we suffered through and all the challenges that were thrown at the class of 2020 is what shaped us into the young men and women we are today. Starting in elementary school, we had to learn the truth about life. We had to grasp the idea of life not being fair, that you will fail, and you will be doubted in everything you do in life. We understood what had to be done to succeed and learn how to go out and earn something. Coming head to head with the ultimate challenge of bringing a school out of a fiscal emergency and back to the glory it once held, we prevailed. From passing a levy to a regional championship 
Never forget. We put Howard back on the map. That's why I want to thank all of you today for graduating, for staying. I want to thank all of you for never losing hope and sacrificing a tremendous amount of your time and efforts to rebuild this historical school. Okay, graduation is supposed to be a time of good spirits and celebration. East Knox, class of 2020, we really made it. We're here. The long, grueling 12 to 13 year journey has come to an end and you have finally earned that coveted diploma. Growing up, doing all that homework, studying for those big exams or being up at three o'clock in the morning, finishing an essay you put off until the date was due has finally paid off. All of us have waited for this day to come, this bittersweet day where one chapter of our young lives end and another one begins. However, this is not the end. This is just the beginning for everyone graduating today. Many of us have very lofty goals and high expectations for life after high school, whether that be attending college, joining the workforce, or even joining the military. Speaking of the military, really quick, I want to shout out one of my best friends, Dyer Williams. Dyer will be leaving August 27th boot camp where we become a member of the United States Navy. Anybody else? And anybody else joining the military, you're all heroes. God bless you, Dyer. You have a courageous soul. Good luck, brother. Love you, man. Whatever dreams and desires you all plan to endure after today, I know everyone here will be successful. Going to class with many of the students here today for the last 13 years of my life, I've never seen a group of people who are so resilient, hardworking, or dedicated. No matter what was thrown our way, the class of 2020 never gave up and always continued to work for our goals and strive for greatness. We have always set the by heart in everything we have done throughout our schooling lives at East Knox, and that should not change after today. As Vince Lombardi once said, and my brother's favorite quote, perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Class of 2020, good luck and thank you. Big dog out. As principal of East Knox Junior Senior High School, I do hereby certify that the members of the class of 2020 who are present today have met all state requirements set forth by the Ohio Department of Education, the boards of education of the state of Ohio, and East Knox local schools and are therefore eligible to keep their diplomas since you've already got them. Class of 2020, I now declare you officially graduates. This time we will begin awarding of the diplomas. Dawson Maxwell David. Dawson is a valedictorian of the class of 2020. He has earned the academic honors diploma as well as the language arts, math, science, and social studies honor. Wait, 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 wait. He received an OHSAA Scholar Athlete Award as well as the Pauline E. Freeman Scholarship from the Knox County Foundation. Upon graduation, Dawson will major in business administration, minor in finance, and play football at Ashland University. Morgan Jennifer McCauley. Morgan is 
salutatorian of the class of 2020, she earned the National Honor Society School as well as the math, social studies, and Spanish honor courts, and had two years of perfect attendance at the Knox County Career Center. She is a recipient of an OHSAA Scholar Athlete Award and the Knox, in a Knox County Career Center Citizenship Award. She received a Mount Vernon Elks Lodge No. 140 Scholarship and a Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Morgan will study interior design and business at Kent State University. Kylie Marie Atkins. Kylie plans to attend COTC after graduation. Andrew Thomas Allman. Katara May Alvarez. Katara plans to attend the Mount Vernon Nazarene University to become a rehabilitation psychologist and further her passion of working with individuals with special needs. Diane Haley Anders. Megan Marie Bartok. Megan is graduating in the top 10% of the class. She earned the Social Studies Honor Cord and is also an OHA, OHSAA Archie Griffin Award recipient. Megan will attend Wittenberg University to further her career in basketball and will major in pre-physical therapy. Isaac Curtis Bluebaugh. Isaac plans to join the workforce. Macy Elizabeth Bonham. Macy earned the National Honor Society Stole and Social Studies Honor Cord. Macy is undecided on her future plans. Ashley Renee Bristow. Ashley will attend Moorhead State University and will study radiology with a concentration in OBGYN sonography. Haley Dawn Bristow. Haley earned the National Honor Society stool and Haley plans to major in nursing at Ohio University. Brianna Lee Brooks. After graduating from East Knox, Brianna plans to attend college. Abigail Nicole Buckingham. Abigail is graduating in the top 10% of the class. She earned the National Honor Society stool as well as the Math and Social Studies Honor Cords. She was awarded a Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Abigail will attend Ohio Christian University and major in Business Administration with a concentration in Healthcare Management. Olivia Marie Clayton. Olivia is a National Honor Society member and she earned the Language Arts, Math, Music, Social Studies, and Spanish Honor Cords. She is the recipient of the EKEA Future Educator Scholarship as well as the Arthur and Joanne Castle Scholarship and a Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Upon graduation, Olivia will study music education at Wittenberg University. Camry Bree Cotton. Camry plans to join the workforce upon graduation. Brooklyn Page Cunningham. Brooklyn earned the Vocational Agriculture and FFA honor cords. She received scholarships from the Mount Vernon Rotary Club and OSU Alumni Club. She is also a recipient of the East Knox Lions Club Earl and Helen Ann Campbell Scholarship. Brooklyn plans to attend the Ohio State University ATI, where she will minor in extension education and major in animal sciences. 
Orion Zane Dexter. Orion plans to join the workforce upon graduation. Shelby Lynn Dugan. Shelby earned the National Honor Society stool as well as the Social Studies Vocational Agriculture and FFA Honor Cords. Upon graduation, Shelby will pursue a nursing career at COTC in Newark to become a labor and delivery nurse. She will also continue farming alongside her family. Dana Silver Durbin. Dana is undecided about her future plans at this time. Jadelyn Lee Evans. Jade earned the Math, Vocational Agriculture, FFA, in Spanish Honor Courts. She is a recipient of the Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Jade will attend The Ohio State University, where she will study physical therapy. Nathan James Friel. Nate earned the Math and Social Studies Honor Cords. Nate will join the workforce upon graduation. Caleb Ray Galwitz. Caleb earned the National Honor Society Stoll and had perfect attendance his senior year. He is an OHSAA Archie Griffith Award recipient and was a Knox County Career Center Student of the Year candidate. Caleb is the recipient of the Mount Vernon Elks Lodge No. 140 Scholarship, the East Knox Lions Club Earl and Helen Ann Campbell Scholarship, and the Carlos E. and Celestin A. Watkins Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Caleb will attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University to study in middle childhood education. He will also play on the school's baseball team. Calvin Lawrence Galwitz. Calvin earned the Career Technical Honors Diploma as well as the Vocational Agriculture and FFA Cords. He is a recipient of the Mount Vernon Elks Lodge No. 140 Scholarship in the Gary and Carol Deidinger Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Calvin plans to attend OSU ATI and major in Agriculture Education. Luke William Grosscup. Luke earned the FFA Honor Cord, and Luke plans to continue in the workforce upon graduation. Brock Michael Hammond. Brock is still undecided about his future plans at this time. Logan Wayne Hart. Logan is undecided about his future plans at this time. Rain Marie Hernandez. Rain earned the Science and Social Studies Honor Cords. She has received the Gerald D. and Barbara W. Lindstrom East Knox Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Rain will attend Kent University and major in pre-law political science in order to become a criminal justice prosecutor. Madison Lynn Hess. Madison earned the math honor cord. Madison plans to attend nursing school and become a nurse practitioner. Brian Lee Hockenberry. Brian earned the social studies, vocational agriculture, and FFA honor cords. He received the Ohio Lodge No. 199 of Free and Accepted Mason Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Brian will attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University where he will be studying pre-physical therapy. Taylor Jean Huggins.
Taylor earned the National Honor Society stole, as well as the Social Studies and FFA Honor Cords. Taylor plans to study nursing at COTC. Blake Omri Lee Kennedy. Blake earned the Math Honor Cord and is currently undecided about his future plans. Cade Michael Leach. Cade is undecided about his future plans at this time. Caden Robert Lester. Caden is graduating in the top 10% of the class. He earned the National Honor Society stole as well as the Science and Social Studies Honor Cords. He received a Pauline B. Freeman scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Caden will attend Muskingum University to major in either education or pre-physician's -phys assistant. He will also play for the Muskingum football team. Kaylin Nicole Mann. Kaylin has earned the Academic Honors Diploma, the National Honor Society Stole, and Honor Cords for Language Arts, Math, Social Studies, and Spanish. Kaylin earned a Red Cross Scholarship as well as the East Knox Community Scholarship and a Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Kaylin plans to study biology and pre-medicine at UNC. <laughs> Cammie is the recipient of a Pauline B. Freeman Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Cammie is still undecided about her future plans at this time. Zachariah Lee Maley. Zach is undecided about his future plans at this time. <clears throat> Sophia Ann Marie Miller. Sophie plans to join the workforce upon graduation. Perry Lynn Mills. Perry is still undecided about her future plans at this time. Jerrica Jesse Moore. Jerrica plans to attend Hawking College for a nursing degree. Hatea Ray Mustin. 
Hatea earned the Math, Science, and Social Studies Honor Corps. Hatea will attend a job training program, then enter the local workforce. Austin Xavier Nichols. Austin plans to study culinary arts after graduation. Scott Edward Parr. Scott had perfect attendance senior year and earned the math honor cord. Scott plans to attend college after graduation. Leah Danielle Rager. Leah is graduating the top 10% of the class. She earned the National Honor Society stool as well as the honor cords for language arts, math, and social studies. She is the recipient of the East Knox Lions Club Earl and Helen Ann Campbell Scholarship. Leah plans to attend Central Ohio Technical College and get her degree in radiological science. Hallie Ruth Rhine. Hallie is graduating in the top 10% of the class. She earned the language arts, math, social studies, and Spanish honor cords. She is the recipient of an OHSAA Sportsmanship Award and the Knox County Career Center Employability Award. Allie received a Mount Vernon Elks Lodge Number 140 Scholarship, a Delta Kappa Gamma Society Alpha Phi Chapter Scholarship, and an Elizabeth W. Bell Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Allie plans to study Spanish education at Bowling Green State University. Dustin Robert Robinson. Dustin will join the workforce as a carpenter upon graduation. Jessica Hannah Rommel. Jessica earned the language arts, math, and Spanish honor cords. Jessica will double major in fine arts and graphic design at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Andrew Edward Sowyers. Drew earned the Math and Social Studies Honor Cords. He is a recipient of an OHSAA Sportsmanship Award, and Drew plans to study and play golf at Indiana University. Clarissa Rose Schwanke. Clarissa plans to work as a nail technician upon graduation. Alyssa Nicole Siebel. Alyssa earned the language arts, math, science, and social studies honor cords. Alyssa plans to volunteer or work at a hospital. She would like to be able to help people like the doctors and nurses that took care of her grandpa. Trayton Russell Sloan. Trayton earned the National Honor Society stool and honor cords for language arts and math. Trayton will study criminal justice at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. <laughs> Judith Kathleen Smith. Judy earned the FFA honor cord. She is a recipient of the Lou Baker Academic Challenge Award at a Knox County Career and a Knox County Career Center, Center Citizenship Award. Judy will study criminal justice after graduation. Raymond James Snyder. Raymond is undecided about his future plans at this time. Gage Allen Steinmetz. Gage earned the National Honor Society stole and a Social Studies Honor Cord. He is the recipient of an NFHS Award of Excellence and an Elizabeth W. Bell Scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Gage plans to major in education at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Emily Jane Stover.
Emily is the recipient of an NFHS Award of Excellence, and upon graduation, Emily will join the workforce. McKenna Renee Webster. McKenna will attend BGSU to major in marine biology and minor in forensic science. Nathan Allen Whitney. Nathan is graduating in the top 10% of the class. He earned the National Honor Society stole as well as honor course for math, science, and social studies. He is a recipient of a Pauline B. Freeman scholarship through the Knox County Foundation. Nathan will study mechanical engineering at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Larry Dyer Williams. Dyer earned the Vocational Agriculture and FFA Honor Cords. He is a Kiwanis Club of Mount Vernon Good Citizenship recipient, and Dyer plans to enlist in the Navy upon graduation. <laughs> Tyler Cameron Zedeker. Tyler plans to continue in the workforce upon graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020. The gesture of moving the tassel from one side of the cap to the other symbolizes an individual's transition from student to graduate. At this time, follow your class officers in the turning of your tassels. Congratulations. Again, congratulations to everyone, parents, family members, and class of 2020. Get it or not? Did you see that dog pile? That happened just now? Yeah, yeah you yeah. missed it. Oh, let's do it again! <laughs> <laughs> see, we made it to the final four, but we're all smart kids too. We all got scholarships. We all got we're all in the threes and fours GPA. Great class here at Eastern Alex, and I love every one of these dudes. Grew up with them. Gage, I feel like you should say something. I got nothing after that dog pile, <laughs> dude. Say something. I wouldn't trade these fellows for the world. I love these guys so much and we're all brothers for life. Yeah, we are. Shout out to Derek Steinmetz, Nick Saban of our generation. And he got us where we are today. Nick Saban of football. This guy right here. I love these guys. <laughs> best best <laughs> coach cool. in the world. He told us we we're going 10 0. We went 10 0, baby. <laughs> Nothing. I love you guys. Great ride. I, I said my piece. Doss, you want us to dog pile gauge again real quick for the just for the yeah, camera? We'll wrap it up a little dog pile. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, man. Right, I forget him. I forget him. I'll take it. Dog pile with the dogs. Why not? Oh. <laughs>